options for formatting that you have, which have been especially programmed into your Woo Themes template. Okay, so first of all, we're going to talk about some uh, list options. So to, to apply a list and to put bullet points on a list, there are some simple options up on the toolbar here which I briefly described in the video before. So you could just simply click this button here which will give you a bullet point list or click this button which will give you a numbered list. I wouldn't really recommend that though for your WooThemes template simply because they have actually programmed in some more sophisticated options which give you a little bit more control and you can add some different types of bullets on which can be quite nice depending on what type of page you're looking for and the look that you're going for. Right, so I have um, a few sentences here so I would like to put those into a bullet point list. So first of all I'm going to create a new line and then I'm going to go to this blue uh, woo uh, button and that's going to give me a drop down which shows me all of the customized options that WooThemes have programmed especially. So in order to create a list, we need to go down to List Generator. And then on the submenu here, we've got the option of having an unordered list or an ordered list. So unordered list will give you a list of bullet points with some fun icons like a dot or maybe a, a tick or a star. And then an ordered list is going to give you a numbered list. So first of all, let's do an unordered list. So if I click on that, it's going to give me a few different styling options here. So as you can see, if we click on the drop down menu, I could do a tick, uh, I could do red crosses, bullet points, green dots, arrows or stars. So in this instance, I'm going to do something a little bit more fun and I'm going to go for a star. And then I'm going to click insert. And as you can see, it's put in a little bit of code here. So that's basically um, telling the system that you want to create an unordered, unordered list and that you want the style of the buttons to be a star. So make sure you don't really touch that code there. And you can either start typing into your list here. So I'm just going to remove this default text and do item 1, item 2. You can also copy and paste uh, a couple of sentences that you've got in your text as well. So I'm going to cut that out there. Create a new line and I'm going to do Control V to paste that in. And as you can see, there's not a bullet in front of every single one. Now if I just put my cursor in front of one of these sentences and hit return, it's going to put a bullet in. Okay, and if I save the draft, just up here on the right, there's a Save Draft button. And then clicking on view page at the top is going to show me how the web page looks to a reader. And there we go, there is our list. So as you can see, the, uh, the actual spacing didn't quite work out properly there. So let's go back to edit page. And let's just fix up that spacing here. So this is quite a good one to know actually. All right, so we're just going to use the back button here. So clicking into the white space there and just clicking on the back button until that um, actually aligns properly there. So that's just really res as a result of copying and pasting and you know you've probably still got a little bit of formatting from the original source and it's it's not quite translated over properly into the web page there. So sometimes the spacing may be a little bit funny and you might need to just tweak it like that. And there we go, I've saved the draft. So if I click on the view page button again and scroll down, that now appears properly. So there you have it, that's an unordered list. Now let's just say we wanted to create an ordered list. So I'm going to use the same uh, button as I did before. So first of all I'm going to put my cursor into the white space here to show where I want my ordered list to go. And then I'm going to click on this blue woo button, so the drop down menu will appear. I'm going back to list generator, and then down to ordered list, click on that. Now I've got a window and it's going to give me a couple of different styling options. So you can go for normal decimals, which will be one, two, three, four. Um, you can go for lowercase alpha, Greek, uh, Roman numerals. You can go for uppercase Roman num numerals or Armenian, Georgian. So there's quite a few different, different options you can have there. I'm just going to go for the normal uh, decimal uh, options and click on insert. Again, you can see there's a little bit of code there, which is just telling the system that you want to do an ordered list and you want decimal points to be the bullet style. Okay, so I'm going to remove the default text that came up there. And I'm going to type in a few list items. OK. 
Okay, bit of a spelling mistake, never mind. Right, I'm saving that draft. And I'm going to click on View Page again just to see what that looks like. And there we go. So there you have it, an ordered list and an unordered bullet list.